Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shafaqat Ali with another video of Android development. This is Google Map series. So in the last video, we have completed the configuration of the Google Map in our Android Studio. So now in this video, we will learn how we can check the permission of find location in Google Map. So for simple Google Map, we have no need to check the permission. But for find location, we have to check the permission of the find location. So here we have two permission at this time for simple Google map. We have only these two permissions, but for find location, if you want to get the location of user, you have to add one more permission that is dangerous permission. You have to check that permission at runtime. So here first we will add the permission users permission and here we will type fine. We have to select this find location. For runtime permission checking, I will add the dependency in Android Studio. You can also write your code, but for dependency, uh, we have to write few codes. So open our browser and here we need to search Dex Dexter library. So hit the enter button. And here we have to open the first link. Okay, scroll down and here we have to copy the implementation and here we will paste the dependency inside our build.gradlemodule file so here we have to paste that dependency and click on sync now okay our dependency is added there is no need to write a lot of code just add this dependency and write few lines of code to check the runtime permissions so close all the files and go to mainactivity.java and here we will create the method check permission okay here we will create the method inside this activity so first one we will add texture dot with context and here we will pass the context i will pass here this dot with permission so here we will check the permission manifest dot permission and here i will select find location permission so select this one access find location and dot with listener so here we will add the listener so here pass new permission listener and scroll down and here we will call the method check and close it okay now inside this on permission granted we can add here variable so here we will create the boolean variable boolean is permission granted by default it's false so no need to assign the false so here we will update the value is permission granted to true and also you can show toast message permission granted okay now inside the last method we have to use permission token and we have to continue permission request okay now here we have to send the user to our setting of this activity i mean of this application if user denied the permission we have to send the user to setting of the application so here we need to create the intent equal to new intent and here we have to assign few stuff with intent so intent dot set action and here we need to call settings so here we need to pass action underscore setting application setting this one and here we have to create the uri i will call it uri equal to uri dot from parts and here we need to pass package and second parameter is get package and last parameter is over null so here i will pass null 
so now we need to assign the uri to intent so intent dot set data and here we need to pass this uri and finally we have to start our activity so here we need to pass our intent okay now if user allow the permission it will assign the true to this boolean variable and show a toast message that permission is granted and if we deny the permission we will simply send user to our setting activity i mean our setting of this application if we did not show the permission we will continue to show the permission and one more thing here we have action application detail so here we have to change action application detail settings this one okay now run the application okay as you can see here as application launched over dialog is appeared so let's say i click on deny here you can see it's open the setting screen of this application you can also here enable the location permission so let's say i run the application again and let's say i click on allow and here you can see permission granted so next time when i open the application it will not show the dialog so this is the best easy and professional way to check the runtime permission so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel see you next video take care